Hello, hello. What up? It's John, your movie madman, and I'm back. So today is Monday, and today I'm going to show you a 4K Blu-ray that I bought last Monday. So it's a brand new release last Monday. It's an old film that's recently been restored into 4K, and I've got I've got a few other films that I've bought recently, a couple of 4Ks and a couple of Blu-rays that I'm going to open and show you as well so it's a very exciting video today but to start with i'm going to open this one today we're talking about scream this is the first one 1996 this was released so it was the 25th anniversary um i'm quite excited about this because i've read reports that the full uncut version that i've done videos of before is on this disc that's quite exciting isn't it there's a lot of 4k discs that have special one cut versions on there as well so it'll be interesting to see if it actually is the full one cut version but reports say that it is so I'm quite excited about that it's got a nice slip cover I've got this from HMV and then realized I probably just could have got it from Amazon because I weren't doing the video till the week after but it doesn't matter it's good to get out of the house every now and then have some exercise isn't it it's a really snazzy back cover as well contains strong bloody violence so swearing about the violence yet again uh, we're going to open this now though so I'm going to take this off dig into this plastic hey there we go oh brilliant that's good isn't it there it is looks the same really doesn't it have a look inside shall we oh. They've got a really nice looking discs. I like these clear discs where the ratings really stand out. I like it when they do that. I think Paramount Paramount are the only ones that do do that. I'm gonna compare this to my Blu-ray and uh, and then watch the 4K for a little bit. Then I'll be back with with a uh, with a review for you. So it's exciting, isn't it? Stay there. Well, what can I say? Okay start with number one all right read loads of reports about this being the unrated version of the film the uncut version and it's not so if you read reports saying oh get screamed the uncut version in 4k it's bollocks all right it's bullshit don't fall for it in fact leave a comment and say i heard that it's not the uncut version so stop lying you twats so yeah, a little disappointed that it wasn't the uncut version. That upset me a little bit. I was moderately, I'd say, moderately impressed with the 4K transfer, comparing it to the Blu-ray that I have. I compared it to this one mainly because this one's older than the Blu-ray in here. I know that the Blu-ray in here is just going to be the 4K transfer onto the Blu-ray, so it's basically going to be the same. So I looked at this one, which is the older the older edition before it was re-released by Paramount because Paramount now owns Miramax so yeah I did notice there's things that you notice in the background especially at the beginning when you can see uh, Casey's boyfriend through the patio window before she turns the light on the first time and you see him tied up you can see him a lot more clearer on the 4k disc I noticed that I thought that was really good so much to the point that you can nearly see the yellow on his jacket so that impressed me I was quite impressed with that a lot of the uh, a lot of the nighttime stuff looked a lot better on the 4k disc as well people's facial details looked a lot better on the 4k disc it had like this this gray shadow over it a bit like the same as I noticed on the Halloween 4k disc but I hear the new version of Halloween that's been released recently by Scream Factory um, that shadow has been taken off so maybe in a few years they'll do this again maybe they'll do like a special box or something with all of them in it and put the fucking unrated version on it just release it it's not hard it's not like it's violent anymore is it just go over it you dicks oh, oh it's so violent it's not violent at all all right you quite happily release saw films uncut and with unrated versions and this is nothing compared to a saw film or the human centipede or a serbian film or anything like that so 
why can't you just release the unrated version, you fucking pricks? Rude. Uh, so yeah, that's my 4K review for Scream. If you have the old Blu-ray and you think you'd quite like to see it on 4K, you can. All right, because it's out in 4K and it's a good, it's a good upgrade. Just don't expect it to be uncut because it's not. Anyway, moving on, I've got a couple of new Blu-rays. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus and The Man Who Killed Gon Quizot. Quizot. Quiz There's a very strange way to pronounce his name. I don't remember. I've not seen the film in a little while. Um, so I'm just going to open this. I mean, there's nothing particularly exciting about it. It's just a Blu-ray. It's not even in 4K. So uh, these are a couple of Terry Gilliam films that I bought. I'll fucking open it. Oh, fucking Lord. Sake. Oh, I got there in the end. Just cut out about three minutes worth of footage there to the food team wrapper. Get that plastic shit off. Oh, that's fucking annoying, isn't it? Heath Ledger's final movie before he passed away. Really cool looking disc inside, which is exactly the same as the art cover on the front. So well done. Good one. The man who killed John Quizzelt. I love this because there's a thing down here that you just pull. In theory, and the wrapper comes off. If it'll fucking let you pull it off. For fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Oh, there we go. The man who killed Don Quixote. Love this because Adam Driver's in it. And I love Adam Driver, he's my number two. My number two actor. There's a really exciting back cover there as well. different artwork as well so that's exciting I've got a couple more 4k's here too to show you uh, birds of prey in 4k it's cool because it rhymes it's got a slip cover as well so that's good I wonder if this will take three hours to get off as well oh look straight away look at that fucking hell nice pink 4k blu-ray in there and a nice blue blu-ray in there so I changed the artwork again it's pretty good isn't it uh, I'll probably watch this in 4k and do a comparison for a different video I was just opening it and one more for today Suicide Squad the shit one it's got a thinner box as well so I'm not really sure what that's all about this is going to take two fucking hours to get into as well probably oh look first time look at that so this has got the theatrical cut on the 4k disc and then on the blu-ray there's the extended version so that's quite exciting I've never owned this before mainly because it's shite um, but it was on offer look, there's the discs there it was on offer on Amazon for like £13 in 4k so I was like you know what it's time brings me close to the end of my DC collection only got three more to get now plus the new Suicide Squad so four it's not very good to be fair my friend Lee will be happy to hear that I've got most of the DC films now as he masturbates over DC movies but that's it for today bit of a longer one for you today sort of once I've edited it, it probably won't be, because about 10 minutes of that is probably just taking off fucking plastic wrappers. So anyway, I'm going to go. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate that. At least you get the unrated version from me, and not the shitty theatrical cut. <sighs> I'm going to go now and be really angry for the rest of the day. Alright. Bye.